on down and down on down everybody welcome back to my channel um today i want to talk about um my tattoos um i wanted to kind of have you guys get to know me a little bit better uh through my tattoos i want to talk about this one first this is an infinity symbol um and it's actually a matching tattoo that I have with my mom. Um, and it brings everything together when it comes to my mom and I relationship. Um, I've always been really close to my mom, uh, but growing up, we definitely had our differences. Um, and to me, this is kind of like, for both of us, it's kind of like our bond is longer than forever. Like I love you longer than forever. And this one, which is actually, if you look at it from this angle, it's upside down. So you kind of have to look at it like this. Um, if you don't, if you guys don't know, I'm Puerto Rican, and this is actually the Puerto Rican flag um, in what looks like a frog. Now, it's a frog because it's big. Um, so normally people are like, "Oh, it's a frog." Yes, it's a frog, but it's actually a coqui, which is a a. a type of species of frog that is located not just in Puerto Rico but in the Caribbean as well. They fit like in the palm of your hand um, all over Puerto Rico and at night you can hear them sing and it's it just reminds me of home. I got this actually playing tattoo roulette uh, <laughs> which if you guys don't know what tattoo roulette is is basically like Russian roulette but with tattoos. You go to the tattoo parlor with a friend or whatever, and you pick out tattoos for each other, but you can't see them until they're completely done. The next tattoo that I wanted to talk about is actually here, and I'll get closer to the camera so you can see it. I, will, I know it looks like a bunch of random numbers, um, but it's actually coordinates. So this is how many degrees north, and this is how many degrees west. And it's actually the coordinates for where my mom was born in Puerto Rico. The most painful tattoo I have gotten. And I've gotten tattoos since, but it took me a while to get another tattoo because it was that painful. It was actually the one on my foot. Um, it took about 25 to 30 minutes, um, but it was still the most painful. Hi. There's my foot. Um, and it says Bella Vita. It means a beautiful life in Italian. Um, I personally don't speak Italian, um, but I wanted to get it in another language that I still knew what, what it meant. And it sounds a lot like Spanish, Bella Vita, be, Bella Vida. The Bella Vita tattoo <laughs> is something that's really, really personal to me because I've struggled um, throughout my life. I've struggled with mental illness. Um, I have been diagnosed with MDD and GAD, uh, which stands for Moderate Depressive Disorder and Generalized Anxiety Disorder. Um, and I'm fine, you know, no pity party for me. Um, but I've, go, I've gone through these stages throughout my life um, where I feel really down, really sad, really um, like I'm in this deep hole that I can't like climb out of and uh to me this was kind of a reminder that like there was a point in time where I got this where life was when life was beautiful and life was worth living in you know my tattoo journey I did get the semicolon uh tattoo and I actually have it on my ear there it is so a lot of people think it's uh, a piercing when you look at it from afar, but it's actually a semicolon. Sometimes when authors are writing a book, they'll put a semicolon instead of a dot. And instead of ending the sentence, they choose to put a semicolon and continue saying what they were saying. And that can be interpreted in a lot of ways like the sentence is your life and the semicolon for me symbolizes that my story isn't over um and 
I could have chosen to end my sentence, but I chose not to. The next tattoo that I wanted to talk about, which is actually, it was, it was my first tattoo ever, and it's actually in the back of my neck. But here's a video of what that looks like, and it says Eye of Ra. And um, the reason I got it in words and not the actual image, which looks like this, <laughs> um, is because I, I wanted, again, I wanted it to be different. I didn't want to just get a tattoo of an eye and have people asking, well, what does that mean? So I figured if I got it in words, eye of raw, then people would ask less. I don't know. I want it to be different. So I didn't get the actual eye. I got the word. So this is a sun. And I hope you can see that because I can't see. Can, can you see it? Kind of. Anyway, that's a sun. And Brittany and I, we were kind of bored one day. And we were like, you know, we should do matching. I, I feel like getting tattoos. And she was like, why don't we do matching tattoos? And then it was like all the stars aligned and we were like, oh my God, we should get the sun and the moon. And then before we said two more things, it was like, we were so in sync. Like I was like, I want the sun. And she's like, that's perfect. I want the moon. And yeah, we got it in the same spot. So this is my anchor tattoo. It's so, so pretty. I, I love anchors. I love the beach. I love the ocean. Um, so that's it right there. Yay. And um, this, is, this tattoo is actually a cover-up. And I know you can't see it because it's a cover-up. But there used to be something right around in this, in this general area at the bottom of of the anchor <laughs> but obviously the artist did an amazing job and covered that up for me <sighs> now you might be wondering well yummy what did you get covered up <laughs> i was in a relationship and at the time we had been together i want to say two years two years and some change um i didn't get his name um <laughs> Uh, I got our anniversary date and after about a month or two of getting of, of you know breaking up I decided you know what I need I need to cover this up I need to cover this up and have this daily reminder gone and and move on um you know it seemed like the right thing to do um and it was an excuse to get another tattoo. Like, come on now. <laughs> I always wanted an anchor. Um, I love anchors. I love what they symbolize. The fact that, you know, you, the anchor keeps the boat from sinking, basically. And when you drop the anchor, you, you're steady and you're at that one place. And, you know, whether the tide changes, the anchor keeps you grounded and it stops the boat from sinking. And I, at the time it was perfect um, because I had gotten out of this relationship and even though it was tough, it was a tough breakup, it was really emotional. Um, I felt like I was finding myself again. I was finding out who I was aside from just being somebody's girlfriend i was in a place where i was stable and the ink an anchor keeps the boat stable so that's why i decided to do it i went to the artist and um and i said hey <laughs> I need this this date gone. The last tattoo that I wanted uh, to share with you guys is actually the one that I got most recently. I got it about three weeks ago. <laughs> uh, it's a flock of birds, obviously. Um, there's not no detail to it because I didn't want I don't want too much detail because I didn't want them to be too big. Um, so it's kind of like the silhouette of birds flying. 
So I have five, five, yeah, five. Birds um, are one of my favorite animals, one of my favorite species. Um, I've always envied the fact that they can get up and fly and go somewhere and travel and explore. Um, birds don't migrate alone. Um, there's, they're, o they're always travel in packs um, or in flocks. <laughs> um, when they go to different areas, it's not just one of them, it's all of them. My mom, when I was young, and even now, she'll still say, you know, I have no problem being alone. I like being alone. I was born, I came into this world by myself. I'm leaving by myself. And yeah, obviously, that's a fact. That's true. We we came, we were born alone, and we're going to probably, you know, die alone. Um, but that's such a pessimist way of looking at life. And... I respect everybody's point of view. Some people like to be alone. Some people don't like to be social. Some people don't have a lot of friends or, you know, hang out with a lot of people. And that's totally fine. Um, to me personally, I have found um, in recent years, especially, that just because I was born alone and I'm leaving this earth alone, it doesn't mean I have to live alone. It doesn't mean I have to go through life alone. Um, these birds, to me, um, represent the people in my life, my family, my friends, um, you know, the people that I've crossed paths with that have enriched my life in some shape or form or fashion. And it's taken me a while to realize that just because, like I said, just because we're born alone and we die alone, it doesn't mean we have to go through life alone. And I value my relationships. I value my friendships. I value my family. Um, I value the, the people that I surround myself with. And this is, this is what, these are, the people, those are the people that make life worthwhile. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I hope you're having an awesome day and an awesome rest of the week wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.